Yo, yo, what's up, everybody? This is Eric Calligraphy with Converge Media, and today I'm here with my brother, KJ Kyle, with Debonair Decor. So, tell us a little bit about yourself. What was your inspiration behind the store, and how this all came to be? My name is Kyle Jaquay here. Debonair Decor, I'll just get straight to it, man. Essentially, it's the brand is just to honor my mother and my brother, who both recently passed away in uh, the last couple years. My brother, you know, it just hit me hard. I, I, I was trying to just really get used to my mom and then he it happened with him so you know I just was feeling like I was going into a dark place and I had to do something I couldn't sleep so I just started drawing and uh I came up with my logo the two D's which represent Deborah and Dion and the two wings represent them now as my guardian angel so Debonair is a you know confident stylish fashionable witty charisma you know what I'm saying book smart street smart that was my brother that was me we we're a lot alike so that's where the debonair comes in. And the core come piece is to honor my mom when we were younger and growing up in Inglewood. We had uh, crazy colored couches and uh, beautiful like pastel colored drapes and plates and chandeliers and whatnot. And she was really in the furniture and really neat and um, really in the different uh, different colors. So the couture is kind of like the colors you see in the store. Is, it's kind of to honor them. And who would ever thought I would be in the Pacific place um, as a black owned business um, opening during a global pandemic. So I'm, I'm humbled and I'm thankful and I'm grateful for all the support. And uh, I want to push this thing to the limits. You know, who knows where it'll go. Uh, I'm happy that my daughter, uh, my seven-year-old daughter, she's in here painting and folding and <laughs> sweeping and cleaning. So like she's seeing, you know, kind of how to be a business owner or whatnot. And uh, just had the soft, soft grand opening uh, day before yesterday. But we're going to do like another big thing, Black Friday and another thing. So uh, it's a dope spot. Obviously, this was the old coach store. Yeah, I mean, we got crazy fixtures in here we got suede walls we got a lot of dope art you know what i'm saying honor biggie one of my favorite rappers jay-z and Nas, they're legends and obviously rest in peace uh nipsey it's keeping me alive you know what i'm saying like i, I needed something to kind of create and uh, it, it's helped me tap in with uh you know my creativity and so i kind of always wanted to do my own store but this store and this brand is special because you know it sucks that my brother's gone but it, obviously i would rather have him alive but if he was alive i might have eventually did a brand but it definitely wouldn't have been this name so yeah. just you know the meaning behind it uh it's just dear to my heart, and, you know, it's emotional. A lot of times I don't feel like going. Like the other day I was here at 3.30 working, and you're frustrated, and you don't know the right, but you know you got to just keep going. And uh, I know they wouldn't want me to quit, so like I said, I'm putting everything into it. And uh, as Brobro would say, he would always tell me, you're filthy. So um, <laughs> I'm just going to, like I said, when I get down, you know, think about that and just keep going. And I think from, you know, I'm doing this on my own dollar, you know what I'm saying, haven't had any investors yet. You know yeah, because I know yeah. they're coming. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna hop <laughs> what on, they say man. in the church, you know speak that to existence. You know, get in while you can, man, because the price is going up. You feel me? But um, yeah, man. So it's uh, it's like having a baby, man. Like you know, obviously I have two kids, and it's like a new project, and I'm really like I'm hungry. Like I I, I don't sleep. I think about. It, I wake up thinking about it, how can I make it better? How can I, I give excellent customer service? You're doing yeah. your thing, and you mentioned your daughter, right? <clears throat> Absolutely. You're not only a black business in Pacific Place. What is to you the importance of you being a black owned business I right think, here uh, in Pacific Place? I think it, it's uh, teaching my kid the importance of, he understands like, to my daughter it's just it's a store, but my son is like, how the <laughs> hell did you pull this off? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So I think the importance is, is, is showing my kids work ethic and showing them grinding more, more than anything, showing them being, being resilient because stuff happens and life happens. And the only thing that we all promised in life is death. And this really, I just keep going because my mom was like that, she never quit. When they, you, you see me grinding, you see me yeah. up at chop, and you see me at, at on Union, and, and I, I really was selling out the trunk and getting out the mud. Like this, just, just come overnight. Like I've been working 12 and 16 hours. I don't sleep, so it's like, um, and I haven't used this word in a long time, but I'm, I'm happy that I didn't quit, and I'm happy that uh, just a vision and a dream and some hard work what this came to. And th I think this is just the beginning.